there. Good morning. My name is Pastor Greg, and this is the children's sermon for Sunday, July 11th. I'm so glad we get to spend this time together. We have some neat stories to talk about this week. Uh, let's see. We're going to talk about two interesting fellas from Scripture. Uh, you've pr probably heard of them at some point. One is named Amos. The other one is John the Baptist. Now, both of these guys were sent forward into the world as prophets. A prophet is someone who has a message from God that God wants them to share, and share as much as they can. Their messages are a little different, and they are given at different times in history and to slightly different people, but basically, both are prophets who are sent forward with a word of God's justice. What do you think of when you think of justice? Do you think of words like fair or right? That justice makes things fair and right? Justice is an idea. It can be kind of hard to get our, our, our minds around what justice is. I do have some pictures that I think will help us understand about what justice is and why it's so important, why God wanted it for everyone. First, we're going to look at something that is like justice, but not quite. The first one I want us to look at is equality. Now, equality is a good thing, right? Yeah, it's good that, I mean, people were all equal in God's eyes, right? We're all important. Look at this picture. Now, these three people are trying to watch a soccer game. All of them have a box to stand on. That's equal, right? Maybe the experiences aren't equal, but they all have a box equal. The problem is, of course, that poor person down there at the end can't see anything more than well, a little higher on the fence, right? They don't know what's going on in the game. So if we go one step beyond equality, we get to equity. We'll look at that too. Now equity, it's a word that is almost like equality, but it's a little better. See, in this picture, everybody has what they need. All three of them can see the game. The person in the middle, they're about medium height, but they need a little help. They have a box. The one on the end, they need a couple of boxes. The first person doesn't need a box at all, but everybody has what they need to see the game. Equity's good, right? Yes. But equality and equity, they're just not as good as justice. So here's the third picture. Now in the third picture, you can see that Nobody needs a box because the fence is different. They changed it. They made it so nobody has to stand on a box or two boxes. And gosh, I mean, what happens if the boxes tip over or if you fall through them? That's no good, right? What if the problem itself was changed? That's justice. Looking at the problem and saying, can't we work on this? instead of trying to see over it or around it. God sends prophets into the world to proclaim justice. Now, prophets come in all shapes and sizes. Amos, in the story, he says, I'm not a special prophet. I didn't become a prophet to have a job. I, I'm a prophet because I was tending sheep or goats, some kind of livestock. I'm a herdsman. God said, here's a message, carry it forward. John the Baptist, well, <laughs> he wears clothes made out of camel's hair, he eats bugs, he lives in the woods. He's an interesting fella. Is there anything special about him? Did he go to school to be a prophet? No, he just had God's message to go out into the world, make the way ready for Jesus. And that's what he did. I think these stories, they're important for us to hear because maybe we don't have training to be prophets, 
but we know what justice looks like. God's justice is all about, yes, things being equal, and yes, people having what they need, but also God's justice is about fixing the things that are wrong, making things better. God's justice is a gift to us because it helps us to see the world differently. We don't have to look at the world seeing things exactly as they are and assuming they'll be that way forever. We can see possibilities, hope that things can and should be better, and we don't have to accept anything less. That's a real gift, and it's a message that we can share so that we can be prophets too. Let's have a prayer about that, okay? I'll pray some words, you pray after me, and we'll be praying together. Dear God, thank you for your justice. Help us to share your justice with others and help us accept nothing less. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for being here with me today and starting to wonder with me what God's justice might look like for all of us. We talk about it when we're baptized. It's something we carry forward every day after that. I hope that you get to see some really encouraging and hopeful ways God's justice is making the world a better place this week, maybe even today. And if you get the chance, please tell me about it. I would love to hear where you see God's justice. We'll talk again soon. Bye for now.